Yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, I think Matthew likes to keep us posted as idea about ideas as they occur to him as well. So a lot of it, you're kind of waiting to arrive at that moment. There are always ideas that when you hear, you say only you would think of that. Um, so there are moments that you're sort of flipping through the script, waiting to sort of, you know, recognise. But of course, yeah, and it's turns of phrase he uses, shocking moments and... Um, and just very kind of little unconventional turns in direction and things. He's, you know, he's off the wall, isn't he? Well, what's, what's clever about it is not just how amazing the action is and how literally you sit down and you get kicked off straight into a kind of full adrenaline rush of the movie, but it takes the relationship that they developed at the end of the last one. You know, they've, they've, it, it's just mm, we yeah, comfortably yeah, yeah. move into this is their life now. You know, Merlin has eyes on everything and is helping everybody, you know, while they're out on their missions. So you're literally, you see how the statesmen work. And I thought that was rather clever that you managed to combine those two things in one. I love the fact that, um, you know, there's still that slight, you know, I, I think I'm asking you to use some uber duber rocket weapon thing. And you're going, no, nope, can't do it yet, can't do it yet. And I, you can see, you know, it's that thing of, come on, come on, <laughs> let me have a go. And I like that dynamic because it shows that we're still, there's still that deference there and we pick up right where we left off in the first one. It's, it's lovely, it's very clever. All the stuff in the cab, hanging out the cab, the yeah. arm, the, the that was. Do you know what? That was the first couple of weeks uh, of the main body of the shoot, I think. And I had such fun. All of that stuff where I'm spinning on the door, they, they did really clever sort of rigs and things to make all that work. And it was so much fun jumping in the back of the boot and coming through the back seat. You know, it was all great fun to shoot. Uh, but that was just one section of it, all of the, the actual cab work, because then... They had, you know, incredibly uh, sort of skilled drivers go off to certain locations and do these amazing stunts, which no one in their right mind had ever let me get anywhere near. Um, so there were different, you know, it's it's a kind of, a, it's a culmination of lots of different people's work, as it always is with these films, you know, coming together to make one really great sequence. Well, it's all related to this notion that uh, everybody's taking something or is, is on something, that um, she has managed to kind of engender uh, a physical manifestation in their skin uh, that only she has the um, antidote for. So it's, it's another worldwide issue that has everybody in jeopardy that, um, that the Kingsmen need to sort out. Yeah, absolutely. She now knows she's got the measure of them. And uh, not only are they under attack, they're kind of wiped out and they're down at their bare bones. And they've got to come back from, uh, you know, from nowhere. And it's nice as well because Eggsy, uh, you know, Merlin is so stoic. And Eggsy arrives and first becomes very angry and then becomes very upset and it takes Merlin to sort of go sort yourself out there is job there's work to be done you know pull yourself together and it's nice it's a nice dynamic and then that sort of gives us this springboard to go into this mission together and then and you have a little wobble which is quite fun as well there's also do you, there's there's a there's a there's a father something there's a dysfunctional family i think Colin me and uh and, and Taron as well. There's a kind of mother, father, son thing going on, which might explain some of the Japanese anime cartoons I've seen online. <laughs> me, me in an apron, giving Colin a cup of tea. Yes, they're uh, very, But very there's, there's, that, there's that vibe. But there's also a class connection, I think. You know, I mean, Matthew was very keen that Merlin wasn't upper class, but he wasn't street. He was somewhere in the middle. But for Merlin, I think he has a real soft spot for Eggsy because he's not one of the classic public school ex-military boys that he normally trains. It's great fun, isn't it? Yes. It's a great fun film. And actors, you know, when you see a film that you love and think is great, I mean, Channing said this, I think, he, said, he just begged to be in the second one because he loved the first one so much. So I'm sure it's that, you know. Someone will say, Matthew will say, have a look at this film, tell me if you want to be involved. And it's really hard to watch the first one and not feel, yeah, I want to be in that world. Yeah, it's so, and it's, 
I guess it occupies its own space because it's, it's, it's very grown up in a lot of ways, you know, it's kind of anarchic and irreverent and a bit X-rated at times. And there's something, that's part of the fun of it. And those, I guess, opportunities like that on this scale for very adult fun is not, um, doesn't come along every day.